So in Acts chapter 17, verse 16, it says, Now while Paul waited for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him when he saw the whole city given to idolatry, and therefore he disputed in the synagogues with the Jews and the devout persons in the marketplace daily that he had met with. He started to dispute with them and debate with them and talk to them about Jesus, that he must be the Christ and he must rise from the dead. But listen how it started. It says that he was in the city and his spirit was stirred within him. His heart broke for the lost. And you see, if we want to take the gospel to others, we must start with a broken heart. And that's why Jesus, when he fed the 5,000, it says he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And Jesus often, he had compassion. He wept. When Jesus was with Lazarus at the tomb when he was dead, it says that Jesus wept. It's the shortest verse in the Bible, but there's a brokenheartedness that comes with evangelism and with sharing the gospel. And Paul said his spirit was stirred and his spirit, his heart being stirred caused him to go out and make disciples and preach the gospel. My question to you is maybe the reason you're not going out is your spirit has not been stirred. And I want you to pray and ask God, God, stir my heart up for what you are, are, stir my heart up for what's important to you. Break my heart for what breaks yours. Give me your heart. This is the same thing of the prophets in the Old Testament. They had a broken heart because they saw the sin and idolatry and they said it, it, it caused them to move. You see, your heart will start to lead you to action. And get your heart in the right place with God and actions will follow. Be alone with God and his word. Read this book. Get alone with prayer and ask God, give me your heart for your people because there's a dying lost world out there and maybe you're the answer. God bless.